Good afternoon. Uh, first, uh, I would like to thank the organizers uh, for giving me the opportunity uh, to share our findings, findings or our study with uh, the audience. The topic of the talk is prevalence and clinical significance of severe infection in patient, patients with SLE, and those are uh, preliminary data from RELESER. RELESER is the Spanish registry of SLE patients of the Spanish Society of Rheumatology. I am going to give this talk on behalf, on behalf of the first author of the study, Dr. Rua Figueroa from Canary Islands, and on beha behalf of the Spanish Society of Rheumatology uh, Systemic Autoimmune Disease, Diseases Study Group. Releser, this registry, consists of two stages. Uh, the data I am going to uh, give uh, today come from the first stage of releser, the cross-sectional or ob observational, observational stage, sorry, retrospective stage. Uh, releser uh, has a second stage, the uh, prospective or longitudinal, but we are starting uh, this uh, stage, and uh, as I mentioned before, the data of this talk come from the first cross-sectional retrospective stage of RELESER. The main objective of RELESER is to take a high-resolution picture of the disease in our country, in Spain. We collected about 450 variables per patient, demographic variables, clinical, immunological, and therapeutical variables. The data uh, I am going to uh, give today come from the preliminary analysis of our cohort. Uh, a, a, in November uh, 2011, we uh, made the first uh, analysis of the data with the first 684 patients with at least, ful fulfilling at least three ACR SLE criteria. At the present, uh, the, this stage, uh, cross-sectional stage, is closed, and uh, we uh, collected uh, data of more than 4,000 patients. Uh, we are uh, carrying out now the statistical analysis, and we are preparing several papers for international journals. The specific objectives of this study about infections uh, were to assess retrospectively the prevalence of severe infection as defined by the need for an admission, to assess the potential differences among patients with and without severe infection, to assess the impact of infection on SLE mortality in our large multicentric Spanish SLE cohort. We analyzed, uh, we uh, recruited uh, for this preliminary analysis the first 684 consecutive SLE patients recruited for RELESER. At the time of the last assessment of the patient, of each patient uh, by the rheumatologist, we uh, collected cumulative clinical data activity, data about activity measured by Selina Slide in a retrospective way. We measure as well comorbidity by using the Charlson index, damage by using SDI, and lupus severity using the CATS index. And we collected uh, data about cumulative and current therapies as well. I am going to present the, the, the results for the uh, five, for 583 patients that uh, fulfill at least four criteria. About 90% uh, were females, the mean age uh, was 45 years, and the median SLE duration was about 10 years, around 10 years. In this chart, I, I, I am presenting the uh, Sorry. The percentage, the percentage of patients 
with uh, presenting a, a history of at least one severe infection. We can see that around 14% of the patients had a, a history of a, at least one severe infection. When we analyzed the main locations or the more frequent locations of uh, those severe infections, we found that the respiratory uh, location was the more frequent in about uh, one half of the cases. The urinary location was found in um, 16 of the uh, percent of the cases, and bacteremia in uh, around 10% uh, of the cases, and other locations in about 20% uh, of the cases. The median number of severe infections was one with an interquartile range, uh, one to two. The predominant etiology was bacterial in nearly uh, one half of the cases, and we found, we found a, a high rate of uh, non-isolations uh, in uh, nearly one half of the cases as well. In this table, uh, we are presenting the comparative data uh, between patients with SLE and a history of a severe infection uh, compared with patients with SLE and no history of severe infection. 80 patients versus 503 patients. The mean age of the first group was uh, significantly uh, uh, older. The SLE duration uh, was uh, significantly uh, longer, and we found that patients uh, in our cohort with a history of severe infection had a higher comorbidity index, a higher SLE severity index, and a, a higher damage index, index score, with p-values uh, very significant. We also found that uh, mm, the uh, hospitalizations due to SLE excluding uh, infections uh, reasons were also uh, higher uh, in the first group of patients, and the SLE-related deaths, non-infectious deaths, uh, were uh, also uh, higher, uh, uh, more frequent in the group of patients with a history of at least one severe infection. Regarding the uh, therapies, the cumulative his history of or the exposure to uh, different therapies, we found that uh, patients with SLE and a history of uh, one severe, at least one severe infection, uh, were um, had a exposure, a more frequent exposure to corticosteroids to cyclophosphamide, and to mycophenolate as well. But we didn't find any differences uh, in the use or in the exposure to anti-malarials malarial, uh, agents. Regarding the comparison of uh, patients with uh, just one severe infection or uh, compared with uh, patients with at least uh, two severe infection, we, uh, in, the, in, the, in the group of patients with a history of two or more infections, we found that uh, they had uh, more damage, more SLE severity, and more comorbidities with uh, p-values, uh, significant p-values. Regarding the death, in our uh, pre preliminary uh, analysis, we found uh, that uh, a percentage of deaths of uh, uh, about 4% uh, percent, uh, 4 of the cases. Regarding the cause of the death, in 12% of the cases, the uh, death was due to a severe infection. And in 875 uh, of the cases, it was a non-infectious cause. If we exclude the patients who died due to an infection, I say that if we excluding patients who had died for an infection, the mortality was also higher 
in SLE in patients with a history of severe infection. As conclusions, we can uh, conclude that uh, the cumulative incidence of severe infection is high in our cohort. Respiratory infection is the most common location. Bacterial etiology is the most frequent, frequent known cause. And SLE patients with at least one severe infection were older, had longer SLE duration, had more comorbidity, more SLE severity, and more damage, had more admissions due to SLE, they had more SLE-related deaths, and they had been more exposed to corticosteroids, cyclophosphamide, and mycophenolate. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the scientific committee of Releser, uh, Dr. Calvo, Dr. Agalindo, and Dr. Javier Lopez Longo, the Spanish Society of Rheumatology, Systemic Autoimmune Disease Study Group, the research unit of the Spanish Society of Rheumatology, all the patients and Releser collaborators, doctors, nurses, researchers, and Dr. Del Campo, the Chief of Epidemiology and Preventive Medicine Department at my hospital. And I would like to uh, thank as well the companies who supported uh, this study, this cross-sectional stage of Releser, GSK, USB, Novartis, and Roche. Thank you very much. We can take one short question. I would like to know if you have the results evaluated according to the capsulated germs vaccination. The results about vaccination? Relationship between vaccination to... We, we don't have... A, you don't have the data. Let, let me think, uh, because the, the main responsible for the infection study is Dr. Rua but uh, we don't have uh, data about vaccination. We have data about a specific, uh, some specific infections, virus, uh, VIH, VHC, hepatitis C. Uh. Yeah, please, short questions and short answers, please. I'd like to know if you have found in your cohort, invasive fungal infections. What about infections? Invasive fungal infection in this in cohort. Uh, uh, when we uh, selected the variables to uh, enter in the, in the beginning of the study, we uh, selected a lot of uh, variables. And uh, thinking about the friendly of the, collecting, the collection of the data, we had uh, to uh, exclude uh, several variables. We don't have data about invasive, uh, invasive uh, infections. Fungal, fungal infections. Fungal infections. Invasive fungal infection, no? Invasive? Fungal infections. We don't have data. Okay. Good afternoon. I would like to know what your defini definition was for a severe infection. What was the definition for being regarded as having severe infection? The definition uh, was uh, uh, infections requiring, requiring uh, needing uh, for uh, an admission. It was, uh, uh, I think there is not a universal a common definition of severe infection and the scientific committee decided by consensus to define a severe infection as uh, those infections requiring uh, the admission of the patient of or causing death. <laughs>